I was on a plane one time with you, and I was going to go back there and say, okay, take a picture of your pussy. Sir. Shut up. What the fuck? I'm sitting up here in mint by myself. I can bang one out. I'm sitting up here. Shut up. <laughs> That's what mint is for. <laughs> That's what mint is for. Oh, to my bang God. One out. I banged one out on planes before. Jesus, I have to. In first class? Oh, oh I rubbed one out like wait, a savage. Wait, I've done it in the did, bathroom. I was going to say, that That means he didn't do it in the bathroom. Oh, I don't go to the bathroom to jerk off. I pay a lot Shut of money up. for that plane ticket. Well, you're in like a little booth. No one yeah, can see you. Yeah, and you do a cappuccino style. I saw a guy jerking off in front of the 7-Eleven oh, under a blanket, but it was so obvious what he was doing because you could see the blanket moving up and down, and I pulled in. This was just last week. I pulled in, and it was so awkward because I was looking right at him, and he was looking right That's at me. Like, we were making for, total yeah. eye contact. You didn't show him a little <laughs> tit? You didn't give him a little no. tit? <laughs> the fuck kind of Christian are you? You pop a tit out that situation. <laughs> no. no, I was so freaked out. I left. <laughs> Yeah. I couldn't get out of the car. I stared at him for a minute, and I was like, I can't walk by this guy. He's too embarrassed. Can you really that. do it cappuccino style, like quickly enough so no one would see? Oh, on a plane? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, Make believe God. I'm asleep and keep my head like this to look for the stewardess. And You're just insane. move my head cappuccino style. And at the end, you come in your hand, and you just keep it there like a little gurgle. And then you get one of those little <laughs> napkins. You wipe around your helmet. You <laughs> slip it back in your pants. And for a minute or two, you have that coming, like your palm in your hand. It starts to like, uh, what is that, homogenize? It starts to get, <laughs> you know, whatever the fuck. <laughs> and sure, you, yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll you, go with that one. That is the either word. you take it with a fucking uh, a napkin or you wash your hands. And not how, the same. how is it possible? I was telling you before the podcast that I did a podcast the other day, and it was with a mom and her son called like Sex Talk with Mom or something. Uh -huh. And they watched a few episodes of us together, and they were saying, uh, she said, I saw Joey talking about anal and how it, he doesn't like anal because he doesn't like if he gets poop on his dick. And she was like, is he vanilla when it comes to sex? He seems a little vanilla. And I was like, I don't think so. Last night he was telling me about when he came on a spoon and fed it to a chick somewhere. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't call that vanilla. Why did you feed your cum to a woman? How did that happen? You told me you jerked off into a spoon and fed it to we her. coked up. <laughs> it's just some. It was sure. a form of imagination. But how did you? Why did you? Even... She was such a dirty animal. Think of a spoon. Because Were you in the I kitchen? Just, I was just looking at her, like, what can I do to her <laughs> that would be different than anybody else did to her? I want her to remember me for the oh, rest of my she life. She can't forget it. No, she and will. I went over there with a spoon and I started jerking <laughs> off into the spoon. Like, you know, like she sucked my dick. I, I, she didn't even ask me, "Why do you have a spoon in your head?" She thought like it was like a tune and four. You held like, it the I'm, whole time? Like I just looked, I thought about <laughs> the it. The whole time? Like, I thought ice about cream. it. I went over and you put your dick in their mouth. They're sucking your dick on the coke. And then when I came, I squirted some on the face, but I squirted some on the spoon. And she just looked at me like she thought I was going to drink it. She didn't no. know she was going to take it. Have you ever daily. tasted it? Once or twice, like <laughs> yes, not like a whole gallon, but Thank just to you. taste it, you know, what is, to what? make sure it tastes okay. Okay, not to sniff that, no, just to see what the fuck come in when you're like I'm 12. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I was like 12 or 13. Oh. No, you see what it was. can is, never say anything about hummus ever again. How dare you? Like, you taste it, like I would this, smell like little, it. I never tasted it, like a little finger. When you're 13, every guy has tasted really? it. Really? No, they don't. You never every did. fucking, I guarantee if you do an it's honest, hit me in the face before if you I'm, do an honest survey with men. <laughs> 82% of men have tasted their own cum when they were 12, 13, the first one to two times, three high. times they came. You should taste it. Why? To make sure to you taste yourself? Yeah. No. Of course. I'm not, I don't taste it to see how it tastes. I taste it to test it to see. I don't give a fuck Back how it tastes.